Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be walking through the professional pre-wash stage that I use that saves me tons of time and talk about why you guys are probably wasting time foaming down your cars. Now, this may come as a shock to many of you, but in my professional detailing world, I actually do not really use in my foam cannon a lot of soap. And I wanna give you guys an example of what I'm talking about here. Here is a product that's an alkaline degreaser from a company called Purist. Now, what I wanna do is, while the directions say that you can dilute this about 20 to one, I'm gonna be using it in a bit more concentrated version here as a pre-wash stage to the ceramic coated car that I am cleaning today. So you guys see me using a lot more than just 20 to 1, so it is a more concentrated solution here. There is no soap in my foam cannon. Now the only place I am going to be using actual soap is in my bucket here, and this is going to contain no degreaser whatsoever, just my car soap, and this is actually going to be used as a lubricant afterwards. I'll explain that here in just a second. <laughs> Now the first thing I wanna do is show you guys what the before of the car looks like. This is a ceramic coated car. It's maintained periodically, but nothing too crazy. So I'm just gonna to try to get out of the shadows here and show you the surface dirt. We'll look at it from a few different angles here. You can see the dirt on the lower rocker panels a bit more clearly. So it's just average dirt, average grease, grime. I'm gonna come back here to show you guys a lot of the buildup back here. Tons of dirt because this van was actually taken to a farm recently. Now let's talk about why we're approaching the car wash this way. Now, the very first thing that I want to do here is just start blasting the car down with water, and I want to basically see how much dirt can I spray off just with the water itself, and I am using my deionized water tank to do this, so I'm washing in the direct sun. And in different areas, you guys can see how the water's already beating up underneath the uh, surface dirt that's on the paint. So I just want you guys to be able to see the ceramic coating and the obvious hydrophobic properties that are on the paint here. You guys can see from the GoPro view here, just looks really, really good. It's really easy to see that coating work, just like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and go all around the car. Now as I use the foam cannon on the exterior of the car, I want you guys to notice something. Number one, you're not gonna get the same amount of sticky foam and sudsy foam as you will if you're putting in just straight foam soap that is designed to foam up. Number two, it is going to run off the paint quicker and it's not gonna stay still and kind of attach to the paint like it would if it was foam sudsy soap and if this car was not ceramic coated. So one of the reasons why the foam is kind of running off the paint is simply because of the ceramic coating, which is actually a good sign. I'm gonna let the solution sit on the paint uh, for about five to 10 minutes, but generally speaking, I'll, I'll go a little bit more towards 10 minutes if it's in the shade, if it's in the sun, I'll stick a little bit more towards five minutes, but I'm not gonna be freaked out even with this ceramic coated vehicle if some of the solution starts to actually cling or dry to the paint. It'll be really easy to reactivate with water and wash it off completely. Now I wanna come in just a little closer and show you guys how the foam is sitting on the paint about three minutes in, let's say. It's drying on the paint a little bit because we are in direct sunlight. You guys can see as we get up close, still some dirt, obviously surface dirt on the lower rocker panels here. That's not going to be 100% removed, but we're getting to the conclusion of this video here in just a second. I'm gonna show you guys why it's so easy to wash a car after a process like this. All right, now as I start blasting this off with water, I want you guys to take note of just a couple things. Number one, I want you to take note of the hydrophobic properties of the paint, right? You can start to see the ceramic coating come out even more. I'm actually just gonna let you guys see from the GoPro Pro view right here. You guys can see how well that water is beating on the paint because we've removed a lot of the surface dirt already. Now, the second thing I want you guys to notice is that I'm gonna focus most of my attention in where I'm spraying things on the areas that need it most. So for example, the front of the car here, the front grill, it's gonna need a lot of pressure to blast off these bugs. So here, what I'm gonna do with these side view mirrors, I'm gonna come in carefully, not at a dangerous level, but I'm gonna put my pressure washer wand a little bit closer here and start blasting stuff off. I'm gonna get in kind of the crevices of the window seals here. So I wanna make sure I'm getting in those rubber seals where the dirt starts to build up just like that. I wanna make sure that as I'm getting to the lower rocker panels, I get a little bit closer and I wanna make sure I just go side to side here I'm not trying to rip off any paint. I don't have a very powerful pressure washer hooked up here. But as I do this, 
I just want to make sure most of my energy is being focused in the area where it needs to be focused here. Okay, guys, now at this point, what's happening? Now, we've blasted off everything. The degreaser had time to work, and we've got deionized water drying on the paint. We're not going to have any water spots, but I want to take you guys in and show you what it looks like here because what we've got now is a really clear line of separation kind of between the top of the car and the bottom of the car where you guys can see that right here. I'm going to drag my finger across just for the sake of showing you the contrast here. There is some very light surface dirt that's now kept on kind of this area as well as the lower rocker panels. And I want to go ahead and go to the trunk as well to show you guys that yes, still surface dirt along this area, but nothing like it was whatsoever. And the surface dirt that is sitting on these lower rocker panels is going to be so easy to remove in the agitation step here. It's going to be unbelievable. And probably the best way that I can describe it here is any surface dirt that's left on the paint now is so stirred up and kind of at a surface level and laying so flat that it's going to be very, very easy to pull off. But more specifically, it is not going to mar, scratch anything. And because this car is ceramic coated, what we often think is, hey, we can't use any chemicals on it because if we use chemicals on this paint, then all of a sudden the ceramic coating is going to start to break down and all that sort of stuff. But you guys can see that the water beating on all of these areas of this, of the different areas of this car is still looking absolutely incredible. And this car is not even maintained on a regular basis, guys. So that's what's so cool is that using a pre-wash stage that's really, really strong with the proper cleaner is going to make the rest of the wash and the rest of the maintenance super, super easy. So ironically, the pre-foam stage is really where I spend most of my time in the detailing business when I'm maintaining a vehicle like this. So let's go ahead and get to the agitation wash. Now, number one thing I want to show you guys as I do this is how little time I spend washing anything. Literally, all I'm doing is dragging my mitt across the paint. So I'm going to start up here with the windows, putting no pressure. Okay, I'm dragging my mitt across the paint. That's it. And all I'm going to do is actually start at the top. So I'm going to start with the top of the doors. I'm going to start with the hood, those higher areas. And I'm not going to drag this mitt on those lower areas because obviously, yes, those lower areas are where most of the surface dirt is kind of piling up. So I'm going to start just like that. And I'm going to do a little bit of two bucket method here. I'm going to go around the entire car just like this. Now, finally, when the entire exterior is done in terms of just the wash, and because I have a ceramic coating on it, and this particular type of ceramic coating that is on this maintenance vehicle is a 10-year uh, ceramic coating, and really what I do with my maintenance vehicles that are 10-year ceramic coatings or more, this is where I actually don't lay a protection down because the ceramic coating, cleaning the ceramic coating in and of itself is plenty. And so I'm just going to put a quick little wax on the exterior of the windows, and you could also call this a sealant, but this is the Q7 wax from CSI. I want to put it on the black trim as well. It works really, really well in the sun. It works fantastically on windows, particularly of my maintenance clients like this. So I love using this on exteriors when I'm outside because it's just so easy to use and I can do it on all of the black trim that surrounds these windows. So I'm going to go ahead and address all of the exterior of the windows and then we'll take a look at the paint afterwards and talk about why this pre-wash method is what I love so much. So at this point, we've really just done the pre-foam, the agitation, and then cleaned off the windows here, and this is really almost everything. We're going to dress the wheels and the tires and the wheel wells, but I do want you guys to see the after result here because what we're doing here is not protecting anything. But this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about, where you want to create your exterior detailing process to be so efficient that you are wasting no time anywhere. And I'm washing all of this in the direct sun. I dress the windows in the direct sun, and I'm going to dress the tires in the direct sun as well. And all of this was done with nothing more than a couple products and a little bit of experience to say, hey, rather than wasting time with your pre-foam solution on a ceramic a vehicle like this, here's how to really speed things up. All right, guys, I hope that helps. If you guys want to see any of the tools or the products that I used in this video, from the pressure washer to the wax on the windows to even the ceramic coating that's on this paint, make sure to check out the YouTube description box below so you guys get a full list of products in case you want to use them. If you guys like content like this where you actually start to speed up your detailing process, you become more efficient in your detailing business, make sure to hit the subscribe button so that I know. And as always, from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard, and I'll see you in the next video.